We train the mind because the mind is the instigator of all things. Good things, bad things, they all come out of the mind. As the Buddha said at one point, the mind is even more variegated than the animal kingdom. Think of all the different kinds of animals there are out there. Animals in the air, animals in the sea, animals on land, animals underground. Is all those come from mind, in the sense that each animal created the karma and made it be born that way. This is what a mind can do. All kinds of things. They can do a lot of good and create a lot of harm. So we've got to take this power. It's like nuclear power or a fire. Something that can do a lot of good if it's controlled. Create a lot of harm if it's uncontrolled. We've got to bring it into line, get it under our control. So we give it the breath. It's a comfortable place to stay. It's here in the present moment. And whatever struggles it puts up, well, that's part of the meditation. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes you read about the Johns or some of the Buddhist disciples who gained, a late <coughs> gained awakening very quickly, very easily. And it gets discouraging. You look at your practice and it's not quick and it's not easy. But remember, there are also a lot of people for whom the practice is long and hard, but they still get to the end. As I would have said, there are four kinds of practice. There's quick and easy, there's quick and hard, quick and painful, long and pleasant, long and painful. And you can't make up your mind which path you're going to follow. And it, different minds require different paths. The amount of time it's going to take, the amount of pain you're going to have to put up with. And pain here means not only physical pain, but also mental pain. But in every case, it's more than worth it. The Buddha said, even if they made a deal with you to say that they were going to stab you with spears, 300 spears a day, 100 in the morning, 100 at noon, 100 in the evening. They're going to do this every day for 100 years, but at the very end they would guarantee that you get awakening. The Buddha said, that would be a good deal. And when the awakening came, you wouldn't feel that you'd gained it in pain. The pleasure, the well-being of the awakening would be so overwhelming that the pain of a hundred years of three hundred spears a day would just melt out of the mind. So as you're sitting and facing difficulties in your meditation, remind yourself this isn't even a hundred, three hundred spears a day. It's just the poking of your own mind, the poking of some pain. Remind yourself you can put up with that. Because you're not here simply for pleasure, you're here because you want to get the mind under control. And if it's not under control, it can cause you a lot of harm, more harm than 300 spears a day. So keep finding ways to encourage yourself in the practice. Because in the long run, it will be for your well, true welfare and happiness. And it will be conducive to the welfare and happiness of others.